So the second bakery we went to was Monique's Cakes and Tart, and that bakery, I can't lie, it was, it was shocking. It was an outdoor bakery. It was 100 degrees outside, and what are they doing? Baking. It was the most different from any American bakery that I've ever seen. The conditions were kind of primitive, like it was open air, and there were so many people working in this tiny space. I have no idea how they iced buttercream cakes next to an oven outside in Bali, but they did it, and they did it beautifully. Her cake seemed like it was more special occasion and event than, than something quick to pick up for dinner or breakfast. The designs at Monique's Bakery were I would say traditional American style piping, which strangely enough is on its way back in the United States. It's like they're almost ahead of the trend again. So we tried the Black Forest cake, which was really unusual, I thought. Typically, I think of a chocolate cake as being very crumbly. Her, her cake was very firm, and it had a lot of liquor on it. It tasted kind of like Kirsch. I thought, well, maybe that's how they get it to last so long in the heat. That's a booze. Monique's moon cakes were unlike any other moon cake I've ever had. She had izuki bean and chocolate and a cheese flavored moon cake that were really flaky. I would have loved to have a cup of coffee at that point. I mean, I love moon cakes, but now I love Monique's moon cakes. Moon cakes at the uh, Asian market in Dallas don't be nowhere near as good. It's amazing. Here we are on the equator, and what are they doing? Baking cakes outdoors. Who'd have thought? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I will never complain again about the conditions at my bakery. I promise. <laughs>